Hey everyone, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make basses slash leads slash pads. It's a very hybrid sound like the ones in the track Take Me Away by Chase and Status. So this is the original track. And this is the bass we're going to be making or lead or pad. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so before we jump into Serum, these are the notes that we're going to be playing. You can copy them if you want to follow along with the video. So now let's get into Serum. So here I have an initialized patch, and the first thing we're going to do is to set up our oscillators. So we're going to load with the basic shapes waveform, and we're going to go into the wavetable editor and we're going to change some of these harmonics. Now, if you want to understand this window better, I recommend you to check out our program, DMB Foundations. There is a really nice course called Sound Sign Fundamentals inside of it that teaches you the fundamentals of how sound works and you can get a perception of this. So now let's continue with the video. The harmonics that we're going to load is harmonic 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, and a little bit of 32. Now, why? Because Harmonic number four is the second octave of the fundamental. Harmonic number six is the octave of the fifth, which will be the third harmonic. Harmonic number eight is the third octave of the fundamental. Uh, harmonic number 12 is the octave of this fifth. So we have fundamental, fundamental, fifth and fifth here. Another fundamental. So we have a chord of fifths. Then 24 is the octave of this fifth right here. And 32 is the octave of the fundamental. Octave number one, two, three, four, five. So we have a chord of fifths, basically. If we hold the note C, then we are playing a C two octaves up, a fifth, which would be a G, C, G, C, G, C. Cool. So once we have this chord, very cool chord, what we're going to do is again add another chord with another oscillator. This time we're going to use the fundamental, the fifth of it, and then the octave of the fifth. Cool. Once we have this, let's just load a sub and some noise. Awesome. Now that we have all of this, let's add the wobbly effect, which is gonna happen with a filter. So let's map oscillator A plus the noise on this filter. And then let's just add the LFO movement into the cutoff. So let's bring it down. And then let's map LFO number one here. Then let's just add the correct rate, which will be triggers and dotted eight notes. Let's add drive. Let's add the somono legato, and then let's add a little bit of glide just so it doesn't overlap or morphs or glides between notes. If there's more than one playing at the same time, let's just add distortion now. Let's set it on post and then let's bring a high pass like this. And then let's bring down this distortion. Which just makes it a little bit of that dirt into the sound. Then let's add a chorus. Some multiband compression. This uh, chorus adds space and the multiband compression brings the noise and uh, some frequencies that were reduced because of the filter up. Now let's bring the level of the noise down and if we want we can modulate it with the same LFO. Then let's add lots of reverb. Cool, and then before this reverb let's actually add a filter. Let's add the same low pass filter, hold shift and alt to make uh, the modulation unipolar like this. And then let's add an EQ with some peaks before the filter, like this. 
and we're going to modulate this pixel to uh, add modulation or to add a movement in the low end of the sound. And this is basically it inside of Serum. This is what makes the sound. It's just this combination of harmonics, which is just a chord of the fundamental plus the fifth, fundamental, fifth, fundamental, fifth, fundamental, so on and so on. Getting filtered with some noise. And then for post-processing, we just have an EQ that has a modulation on its frequency to add an extra wobble effect. Cool. Next, we have an isotope Trash 2, which has uh, a multiband mode. We are just boosting this up a little bit, leaving the mids untouched and leaving the highs untouched. So it's just a boost on the sub. Then we have this EQ right here, which is boosting this upper harmonics. Just to add a, a little bit more brightness into the harmonics. But that is it. That's how you create pads or leads or basses. Uh, like the ones in the track take me away by chase and status so that's gonna be it for the sound and also for this video if you liked it make sure you get subscribed to the channel and if you want to support the channel consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com we have crazy preset packs we have producer bundles made by pro artists like icicle current value avis mastic and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files presets samples etc included and speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.